right guys, what is going on? Welcome to another video. Welcome to a highly produced, the most highly produced video I have ever done on my channel so far. There is a new camera. I'm going to do a separate video on the new camera. I used to rock a Canon G7X, but I now have a Canon 70D. So we are taking it up a notch with some lenses and some uh, nice mics and all that stuff. So we're gonna have this video as a test run. Uh, and this video specifically is an engine bay detail of my Jeep. Ugh. All right, so an engine bay detail is really simple, guys. I literally just grab my wheel bucket. And uh, the primary product I use is this all-purpose cleaner. This is actually Meguiar's inside of this bottle. It says it Adams, but I like Meguiar's product better. I also have a rubber cleaner. This is Adams rubber cleaner. And uh, there's some wheel cleaner in here because it's my bucket. So this lambskin mitt is really nice because you can literally just use your hand and scrub all the pieces inside the engine bay as well as a brush. You got a big brush, you got a small brush. And this is really for the tires, but it's in my wheel bucket. I'm gonna put a link in the description for all these products. Um, you can pick them up on Amazon. You can pick them up pretty much anywhere. All right, and the last fun little tool I like to use is this IK Foamer. This is literally so unnecessary in general car washing. The foaming procedure is a little overhyped in my opinion, but this actually kind of makes sense in the engine bay. Uh, really all I do is put a random concoction of my rubber cleaner, my all-purpose cleaner, fill this up with water, and let the foam dwell and then I scrub it. If you just spray the product on by itself, it may not dwell as long uh, because it's not foamy, but that's just kind of what I do. These things are a little pricey, uh, but if you don't have one, it's really no big deal. I lied, I'm gonna put some shampoo in here too, just to make it extra foamy. Adams, not a sponsor, maybe one day. And you're gonna to wanna to pump it until you can't pump it anymore. I know it's very scientific, but you'll actually hear, you'll actually hear some air leaking out. Hopefully my fancy mic is good enough to let you guys hear that air leaking out. Guys, tell me if my camera works on point, okay? Just tell me. I need to know. I'll do more videos if it's legit. All right, so we've got our little foamer here. Literally, you can just spray spray if you want, but I'm not gonna wet this down because this is already you know, like there's water in here already, so I don't really want to pre-rinse it. I don't really need to. And with newer cars, uh, this Jeep in particular has all of the electronics covered. The fuses are covered, the battery's fine. You know, there's no intake or anything that's exposed. So just keep that in mind. If you have an older car, you're gonna want to worry, but this is a newer vehicle and I'm really not too worried about it. There's always gonna be the crowd that freaks out when I do this, but that's just the nature of the game sometimes. But not to worry, this is what I do and I've never had a problem. All right guys, so I did the first foaming procedure. I actually did it like three times because I wanted to get some nice footage for you. And uh, here it is. So this is really just letting everything emulsify and do its thing before we start scrubbing it. It's really pretty self-explanatory. All right, so the next step is super difficult, guys. I like to work top to bottom. Normally I would scrub the top of this, uh, but I actually save the top for last and then I do a final rinse uh, because this is like a sort of like a, not a carpet, but this is definitely like some sort of heat um, rejection material. But I like to work here, because if you start working here, you're gonna get dripped on. And I know it's, it's sort of counterintuitive, but I like to work here, and since there's only one little like strip that I'm gonna be cleaning, I don't think it's that big of a deal. So that's what I like to do, is literally just start, you know, the top areas, and then as we get a little more serious and deep in the engine, Obviously, I use my longer brushes and uh, you know, I go on the sides and deeper so it's pretty self-explanatory But that's how I do it
All right, so only if you're a real nerd, you're gonna appreciate this. I use this little blower just to blow out all the little cracks and crevices and to get the whole engine bay pretty much dry before I dress it up. So this will be in the description box below. This is actually a cheap little DeWalt uh, blower that I have an attachment with my batteries. All right guys, so the very last step I use on detailing my engine bay is I use some CarPro Pearl. I usually use this stuff on the tires, not 50-50 diluted, but maybe only, you know, a third water or even less. So what I actually, there's literally no science. The engine bay is literally one of the least scientific things to do, is I just put some on a microfiber be liberal, you know, be like Bernie Sanders, and then I just go to town. I just literally wipe down every piece and part of the engine bay. You know, this little thing with all these slits is gonna be difficult, so, you know, maybe use your finger or something like that, you know. You guys will be able to literally play around and figure out what works the best for your vehicle because everything has different shapes and sizes. I will say the thing about CarPro Pearl is it is a dressing. You know, it's not going to dye the plastics. It's not going to keep them dark and perfectly black forever um, this Jeep is an 05 so it's seen it's seen a lot of abuse especially uh, with me driving it uh, it's the JGC 4 snow so it sees snow uh, when it was up north and now it sees rainy days and it sits outside all the time I, I actually have taken it off-road a few times nothing serious but it does see its fair share of abuse but it is time to dress it up a little bit Thing I want to mention about Carpo Pearl is it is water based. It's not silicone based, which a lot of the tire dressings or engine bay dressings are. The silicone based stuff will slim. If you put like the turtle wax, like super shine on your tires and then you go drive down the road even like the next day, it'll fling off onto your paint. And they're kind of greasy looking, super wet. It's just such a fake looking uh, product to use. I definitely prefer. Car Pro Pearl over anything else I've ever used. So that is a big thing to consider when you're dressing up your engine bay or whatever it may be. I'm going to end the video here, guys. This is extremely self-explanatory, as I mentioned, but I should also mention something very exciting. If you're still watching this video, you deserve to know, is that mods are planned for this Jeep that I will be required to open up the engine bay for. So I'm not gonna say anything more, but I figured now would be a good time to do the engine bay because when I do do the mods and I open it up and I do whatever I need to do, um, I don't want you guys to yell at me for a dirty engine bay, even though it is a Jeep. I know that you guys are out there and I know what you're going to say. So with that said, all the products are in the description box below as always. Leave a comment below if I forgot to mention anything or clarify anything and I will see you guys next time. Also, I will be doing a dedicated video on this camera. Like I mentioned, it is the 70D and it's not even focusing. I don't know if it is, but I am liking this like super easy focused ability. Uh, I don't know what I'm talking about, but uh, so far, let's hope the video went okay. And that tire looks low. Does it not? Does it not look low? That definitely, oh boy, that's sweet.